Around 100 years ago, an invention came into existence that was going to take the world by a storm. Plastic. The Wonder product became highly popular in the 1950s because it was lightweight, moldable, durable, and a cost-effective replacement to many existing items. But what is plastic? It is a man-made synthetic polymer that is created using fossil fuels such as natural gas and crude oil as raw materials. Their components are broken down and rearranged into polymers with the help of chemicals. When we look around us, we can see that practically everything contains some sort of plastic component. Be it the phones we use, the dishes we eat in, the cars we drive, and even the appliances we operate. This wonder product has conquered so many realms, yet it manages to leave behind a nasty trail. 50% of all plastics produced are single-use items, which means they are usually discarded after only one use. Because of this use-and-throw culture, globally we contribute to the 300 million tons of plastic waste produced every year. That's nearly equivalent to the weight of the entire human population. Items like plastic bags, plastic cutlery, beverage bottles, plastic wrap, and even cigarette butts all add to this plastic waste. Production of plastics has grown exponentially since the 1950s, and half of all plastics ever manufactured have been made in the last 15 to 20 years. But what happens to all of this plastic waste? The waste that we discard ends up in landfills to be dumped or waste to energy plants to be burned. A lot of lightweight plastic ends up in the drains or nearby water bodies, eventually carrying it out to sea. Every year, around 8 million tons of plastic waste escapes into the oceans from coastal nations. The chemical additives in plastics, used to make them stronger, more flexible and durable, can extend the life of these plastics if they become litter. Marine life can get entangled in plastic waste, thus hindering their ability to hunt or to eat. Moreover, plastics are non-biodegradable, which means that they do not ever actually go away. In a landfill, a plastic bag takes 1,000 years to decompose. Unfortunately, the bags do not entirely decompose. Instead, they photodegrade, turning into microplastics that absorb toxins and pollute the environment. This breakdown is caused by exposure to environmental factors, mainly the sun's radiation and ocean waves. These are an invisible danger as they are smaller than even half a centimeter in size. Microplastics can be found almost everywhere, in bottled water, tap water, sea salt, and in certain cosmetic items such as toothpaste and face wash. They have even been found in remote areas far away from human settlements. This shows the astounding reach of these super light plastic pieces. These small pieces of plastic enter our food web at the lowest level, where microorganisms in the ocean consume them. Small marine life consumes these microorganisms and carries forward these microplastic to other species in the food chain like oysters, crabs and fish, which eventually ends up in our plates bringing with them all the toxic chemicals added to the plastics during production. Chemicals such as BPA are linked to infertility in females and lower sperm count in males. Chemicals in many plastics are also linked to heart and cancer-causing diseases. According to an analysis by WWF, people are consuming about 5 grams of microplastics every week, which is equivalent to the weight of one credit card. Also, more than 50% of the world's population has microplastics in their stool. Plastic use has only skyrocketed, and we are failing at steering the ship. Ban on plastic consumption cannot be done blindly. The market has to be equipped to handle such a shift. Alternatives should already be produced in good quantities to make up for the absence of single-use plastic items. Aside from this, there is a dilemma with regards to the environmental impact of plastics alternatives. 
For example, the energy used to make a metal straw is roughly equivalent to creating 90 plastic straws, and it also produces carbon emissions equivalent to 150 plastic straws. The metal straw would have to be used 150 times to offset its environmental impact. This leaves us at a very challenging crossroad as plastics have also proved beneficial numerous times. Plastics are advantageous in the healthcare sector. Items are created for one-time use and help prevent the spread of dangerous diseases by eliminating the need to sterilize and reuse. These are medical tools and devices such as syringes, gloves, catheters, masks, among other items. Plastics are also very good insulators and are widely used in the electrical and electronics industry as well. It is imperative to understand that the issue of plastic pollution is not an easy one to solve and needs to be seen from a global perspective. Developed countries can support developing countries with their waste management infrastructure while also providing livelihoods to the many workers. Despite the grim reality, there is still hope. Individual actions also go a long way and must be continued. Reuse a plastic item, purchase a sustainable alternative, or spread the knowledge. Say no to single-use plastic items, segregate your waste, Take a stance and motivate others to do the same. Plastic pollution can be beaten, but we must start now.